What's going on everybody? Jay Lawson here and I am back with another video. Um, I wanted to do a another type of math problem that uh, appears on the ASVAB a lot and it is a problem dealing with distance, uh, rate, and time. Uh, distance obviously being the length of travel, the rate being the speed, and the time being the uh, you know, in hours or minutes or, or whatever the problem says, the duration. Um, these problems can get very tricky, but one thing that you need to know with any problem dealing with uh, distance, rate, and time, there's a formula that you use to answer those, those questions, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, but before we get started, if you uh, enjoy these type of videos, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, as I will be continually uh, continuing to bring more problems to you. Um, but let's go ahead and look at this question and then I'll give you the formula that you need to put in your memory bank so that you can be able to answer these type of problems. This one here is a little bit more complicated than any ASVAB type problem, but if you can get the general concept of this one down, um, you'll, you'll definitely have an idea of how to get into the, uh, um, how to get going on any of the ASVAB type problems. Uh, but let's look at the question. It says two dogs, a greyhound and a pit bull are playing in my front yard. The pit bull takes off running down the road at 38 miles per hour. One minute later, the greyhound starts running, starts chasing him at 45 miles an hour. How long will it take for the greyhound to catch the pit bull? Now. So what we want to do is picture what's going on here. We got two dogs in the front yard. One of them takes off running. And a little bit later, the other one takes off running. And what we're trying to figure out is when the second one will catch the first one. Because we see the second one is running faster than the first one, but he left later. So this is an issue where um, we have to figure out based on the distance and, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, based on the rate and the time how far the distance would be before they catch each other. Because when they, when they are equal, then that means that he's caught the first one. For example, if I start running and you start chasing me, when you become equal to me in distance, that's when you've caught me. So we need to use that same concept here. And what we need to use is the formula D equals RT which is distance equals rate times time. D equals RT can solve any problem where you have distance, rate, and time. Um, because if we take the rate of time and multiply it times the distance, I'm sorry, the rate of time and the rate of speed and multiply it times the time will get the distance. For example, if you're going 10 miles an hour in your car for two hours, you're going to go 10 times 2, which would be 20 miles, right? Because if you're going a rate of speed of 10 miles an hour for a time of 2 hours, 10 times 2 would be 20. So the distance would be 20 miles. And this is the formula you need to use all the time for distance rate times time. When you get a more complicated problem like this, what you want to do is set up a table and plug in all of your necessary uh, uh, information that you have to try to solve this. So what we're going to do is set up our table and what we'll do is we'll have our greyhound and pit bull in the table and then what we're going to do is we're going to have the categories are distance, rate, and time, right? So if we could completely fill out this table, we would definitely have the answer, right? And these are all the uh, pieces of information that we would need to solve this. So let's start, let's start looking at what we know. Well, what stands out to me if you look at the question is that they gave us the speeds, right, in miles per hour. And one thing to remember is make sure that you always keep everything in the same uh, unit. For example, if our distance is in, uh, 
I'm sorry, if our rate of speed is in miles per hour, then our time needs to be in hours and not minutes or seconds or anything like that. So remember, if our rate of time, I mean, our rate of speed is in hours, miles per hour, we need the time to be in hours. Everything has to be in the same unit. Otherwise, you're going to get confused and, and it's going to end up wrong. So what we'll do is we'll plug in our rates now because we know what the rate of speed is. Our rates are for the pit bull is obviously 38. And our rate for our Greyhound is 45. And we got that because the rate is simply the speed. We know the pit bull's going 38 miles an hour. We know the Greyhound's going 45 miles an hour. Now, what we need to do next is let's see if we can get a variable for our time. We know that the Greyhound left later than the pit bull. So the Greyhound's time is going to be lower than the pit bulls when they, when they catch each other because the Greyhound is traveling, uh, he left a minute later. So if, the, if they catch each other in an hour, that means that the Greyhound went, you know, uh, he left a little bit, the pit bull traveled a little bit less than an, than an hour or, or, what, or a little bit more than an hour. I'm sorry, the pit bull traveled for an hour and the Greyhound traveled a little bit less than an hour because the total time was an hour and the pit bull left a minute later. So because the Greyhound traveled less time when they caught each other, let's go ahead and let him be X for time. So the Greyhound's time can be X. And because he was, and to find the pit bull's time, we need to, to uh, look at what we have one minute later. So you might think, okay, well, for the pit bull, we can do X plus one for time because X plus one minute. But what we have to realize is that 60 minutes are in an hour, right? So what we have to do is we have to convert the minutes to hours. So, if, so for one minute, it would be one sixtieth of an hour. So for the pit bull's time, it's going to be one sixtieth plus X. And we got that because, remember, the Greyhound is traveling uh, for time-wise. He's going, it's, it's going to take him one minute less than it takes the, when they, when they, uh, when they meet. He's going to be having traveled one minute less because he left a minute later, but he still caught him at that distance. So that's why the Greyhound is X and the Pitbull is X plus one sixtieth. All right, now we know that what we're looking for is the distance. Actually, we're looking for the time when the distances are equal. And we know the Greyhound will catch the pit bull when the distances are equal. So what we need to do is we need to set the two equations equal to each other. But to do that, we need to get a value for the distance. So if we know distance equals rate times time, for the Greyhound, we can multiply 45 times X and get 45X for the distance, for the Greyhound. And then for the pit bull, we can take the 38 and multiply it times X, times the value of X plus 1 60th to get the distance for the pit bull. Now again, we said we're looking for the distance to be equal to each other, the distances. So we need so when the Greyhound catches the pit bull, the distances will be equal. So we need to have the time when the distances are equal. So all we need to do to solve for the time is get is let the two distances, the 45 X equal the sum of the 38 times the sum of x plus 160th. 
And that's because if that's the case, if they are equal, that will be the exact point when the Greyhound caught the pit bull. So now let's go ahead and bring down the 45X and it would be equal to 38X plus the, the product of 38 times 1 over 60th, which is 38 over 60. So we got 45X equals 38X plus 38 over 60. Now, we want to get the X by itself. So what we can do is just subtract 38X because that's the lower X value from both sides. So on the right side, the X, the 38X is going to cancel out. And on the right side, we have 45X minus 38X, which would be 7X equals 38 divided by 60. Now, all we have to do to get to solve for X is take 38 divided by 60 and then divide by 7 because we're just dividing by 7 on both sides. So on the left side, when you divide X divided by or 7X divided by 7, you get X. And when you divide 38 over 60 divided by 7, you get 0.9. And that is in hours, because remember the X, the time is in hours. So X, the time that they catch each other, I'm sorry, the time that the Greyhound catches the pit bull is 0 0.09 hours. Now, what we want to do is just convert that to something more realistic, because we don't talk in terms of, oh, yeah, it took me 0 0.09 hours to get there, or, you know, so. To convert hours, remember 60 minutes are in an hour. So all we have to do to convert hours to minutes is just multiply times 60. And if you multiply 0 0.09 times 60, you get 5.4 minutes. Therefore, the Greyhound will catch the pit bull in 5.4 minutes. I hope this explanation was clear and I will uh, bring you some more distance rate time problems um, in the future. Be sure to click like and subscribe. And remember, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.